Hi and welcome to the Market Alert uh, for Wednesday the 6th of September 2023. So value stocks puked, growth gains as heavy flows hammers bonds. The last time that the Russell and the Nasdaq uh, traded here was March 2000, the very peak of the dot-com uh, bubble there. Also uh, US stocks were mostly lower as a dollar and yield and oil prices gained. Yeah, oil's uh, gone up quite uh, a bit over the last month. Economic news for today. Let's just have a look at uh, the high impact uh, news items there. And uh, you can see we've got uh, monetary report hearings and uh, also ISM at uh, 3 p.m. So that's about it for those. Okay, let's have a look at the markets. Kick off with uh, the Dow and have a look at yesterday's uh, trading session. So in the Dow yesterday, uh, we can see the market uh, moving lower there. We're sitting at the 20 bar moving average at the moment and uh, between 38 and 50 on the FIBS. Starting to look a bit uh, precarious. There's a thing we're heading down to retest uh, this low by the looks of things. Uh, the implied volatility also, again, is back down in these lows as well. So again, pointing to a correction coming in the market uh, once more. We had the, the other one there when we were down in the, the lows. You saw that correction. Looks like we may get a continuation of this uh, at the moment. In the 30 minute chart for yesterday, again, we moved higher in the electronic, but as soon as we got into the second hour, again, that's the third trading session in succession where we've seen this happen. We're already sitting on the lows as well. They expect to bounce, but then later on, see if that pattern continues that we're seeing at the moment. The German deck sitting at the 200 MA, I don't think it's going to hold. I think we're going to see again, as with the Dow, this market to uh, test the 89% uh, uh, retracement here, drawn from, as you've just seen, from there to there. Then we'll have another one from there to there as well. So it's looking a bit uh, bearish at the moment, to say the least. It doesn't kick off to the Santa rally until uh, around uh, the end of October. So we've got time for a correction in this market. Again, we started off very well. We traded up to the close and we managed to get above uh, the electronic Monday high. Well, not electronic for the uh, DAX, uh, the, sorry, the low of the electronic session uh, on Monday. The market uh, sideways uh, down, a bit of, to, of a distance to the low, but it's got to get above the DP if it's going to have any chance of going up towards the high. It was very lackluster yesterday in its move to the upside. It tr attempted to and uh, then uh, had a shakeout, which you can see in this area here. And then the market then decided it was going to move up 100 points. In the S&P 500, uh, also down yesterday, now red. Uh, looking stronger than the other markets, though. But uh, again, I'll be inclined to draw in some downside targets on this market as well. 30-minute chart, very choppy yesterday. And in the FT100, also a second day of red. Fibs are in there for the downside as well. And the 30 minute chart, again, we started off because the Dow wasn't uh, on, well, it was on the electronic market, but it's when the New York traders come in uh, around 1 p.m. we start to see the changes. And then in the afternoon following the Dow down, so we're heading towards uh, the low there at the moment as well. Meanwhile, in the dollar, we continue to move sharply to the upside, and this is having a negative impact on the metals, which I've said. And we're going to see this continue to move to the upside as well, because we've now taken out uh, the uh, resistance to the left. And then we've got uh, this target uh, over here that we can trade up to. So expect the dollar to continue to move to the upside and the metals to the downside, which we'll look at now. So as I've said uh, for the last X number of days, uh, since we hit this top at 89, the metals are gonna get monkey hammered. We're gonna take the 200 out today. We're heading down to $22 uh, once more for this market. And uh, you can see there a bit of a bounce yesterday on the news, but we're straight back. Markets already started to move down in the 30 minute chart. We're gonna take out the low with no problems whatsoever. In the gold market, a lot stronger though, only two days of red in the daily chart, so holding up really well against silver. And uh, the low there needs to be uh, taken out or find support, depending on whether you're a buyer or a seller. A uh, moment to yesterday, the market down, up on the news, and then just straight back down. So no surprise there.
And finally, in the gold silver ratio, you can see how much silver is being hammered. As I said, we're going back up to this uh, level up here. No problem at all, if not uh, beyond. Particularly if they start, uh, when I say they, the mainstream media start talking about recession. This is going to have an even more negative impact. And we could go down to $20 uh, an ounce uh, for silver. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me one jot. During the COVID uh, uh, situation that we had in March 2020, we went down to $13. Uh, we know it's rigged. We know what they're doing. We know what they're up to. And there's nothing we can do about it except sit and watch it and trade it on the short side whilst uh, they uh, mess about with it because there's no fear of it going up at the moment. Not until it gets through $30. So the short side in the metals, uh, particularly silver, is the best side at the moment. And you can just use the gold-silver ratio as a, a, a guide to um, when to buy it and when to sell as well. Okay, that's it uh, for this one. If there is anything else to report, I'll let you know. But uh, other than that, um, that's it. So uh, have a good day. As ever, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.